This is lesson 43, BHDL example 25. In this example we'll de design an 8 to 3 encoder, the same one we did in lesson 42 using logic equations, but in this case we'll try to use a VHDL for loop. So here's the truth table we have for the 8 to 3 encoder. Remember only one of these inputs is 1, x0 to x7, and then the 3-bit output encodes the input. So if x3 is 1, we get a 3 output. If x5 is 1, we get a 5 output. So how can we do this? Well, suppose we take a for loop, say 0 to 7. What's the rule? Well, the rule is if xi is 1, then we want y to be equal to basically i. We have a problem here, of course, i is an integer, y is going to be standard logic vector, so in this case we're going to have to convert an integer to a standard logic vector. Let's see how we do that. Here's the entity for our encoder. x is standard logic vector 7 down to 0. We'll have our usual valid output, and y is output standard logic vector 2 down to 0. So here's the architecture. We'll make a variable j as an integer inside the process. We have process x, that's our input. We'll set y to 0, all zeros, and valid to 0. And then we'll say for j is in 0 to 7 loop, so we go through all 7 inputs. If xj equals 1, then we want y to be equal to j. But j is an integer, so we have to convert it to a standard logic vector. And we do that using the VHDL function convert standard logic vector. But notice there are two parameters here. j, the thing we're trying to convert, plus 3, that is the number of bits we want y to be. Well, y is 3 bits. So we take the integer j and convert it to a 3-bit standard logic vector, which is what we want. Then we set valid to 1 anytime we get at least 1 xj to be 1. So this should work, and we can check it by simulating it. We'll use the same circular 1 counter we did before to get a single 1 output going from x0 to x7. And sure enough, y is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it works.